Hello everyone, I am Ananya Das from IBY Professional School. I have completed my Masters in Economics from Calcutta University in 2023 and currently pursuing a Data Science course at IBY. Today, I am going to share an analysis along with an interactive dashboard of global plane crashes between 1921 and 2022 using Excel. Before delving into the case study, Let's first define what Microsoft Excel is. Now, MS Excel is a powerful spreadsheet program that allows users to organize, analyze, and visualize data. This is the content of our case study. We will start by providing an overview of the data set, followed by the objective. After that, we will dive into our analysis. Moving forward, we will discuss the findings and finally end with some recommendations to improve aviation safety. Moving on with the case study, this dataset has been picked up from Kaggle. It's a single file dataset explores global plane crash between 1921 to 2022 containing relevant aviation informations. Let's explore the data first. As you can see, we have the informations such as the date, when the incident took place, time, involved aircraft and operators with their registration numbers, flight phase such as takeoff or landing, uh, flight type, survivors, crash site, schedule, manufacture serial number, Year of manufacture, flight number, crash location, country, region, crew, packs and others on board and fatalities. Lastly, circumstances and crash cause which indicates the reason behind the incident. Let's go back to our presentation. As we all know, air travel is an integral part of modern society, connecting people or, and culture across the globe. However, safety of air transportation has been a critical concern since the early days of aviation. Hence, the primary objective of this case study is to offer a comprehensive understanding to help airport authorities in identifying high-risk regions. It provides detailed insights into each region including top four countries, crash locations, crash causes, timeline, fatality rate and more. The goal is to empower authorities to take informed action against identified risk. Our aim is to emphasize improvement in aviation safety and derive insights that can contribute to future enhancements. Let's move on with our analysis. This is our data set. Uh, so in order to find the timeline, we have to create a pivot table. Just select anywhere and go to insert, click pivot table, check this one and press OK. And to create a pivot table, I will uh, drag dates over here and get rid of all this. Now to count the number of incident, we can drag any headers over here. This is uh, not needed for our analysis, so let's just get rid of it. Now I have, I have a proper data on timeline. To visualize the data, I will insert a line chart. Now go to insert, select a line chart. Now this is the timeline. 
In similar way, to find the fatality rate, create another pivot table. Go to insert pivot table. Check this one. I will drag survivors over here and drag any other headers over here to count. Now we got the count. And to find the fatality rate, let's just do a show value as percentage of grand total. To make it nice, I will uh, round it up. So we got 41% uh, fatality rate. Now this NA is not necessary for our data. So let's just get rid of it. Now the percentage suddenly bumps up to 43% which is not right. So to rectify this go to design. Go to subtotal and include filtered items in total. Now it's 45, 41%. I would love to create a pie chart or donut chart for this. And in similar way I have created pivot tables for country crash location, crash cause, flight type, operators, total number of incidents, crash site, time, aircraft, packs on board and crew on board. Now move on to our dashboard. This is the dashboard which I have created. To make a dashboard interactive, we use slicer. It helps to explore the data in a much efficient manner. As this analysis is to identify high risk region, so I put region as a slicer. In order to put a slicer, just click on any visualization, go to insert and select slicer. From here we can select any of them. Also, it is important to connect the slicer with all the necessary pivots. We can do this by right clicking on the slicer and report connection. Here we can uh, connect all the necessary sheets. So from this slicer, if I want, I can check Africa and it will give all the informations related to africa like the total number of incident packs on board crew on board peak incident flight times most crashed aircraft along with a trend overview and this is the fatality rate with crash cause top four countries top four location top four flight type and top four operators same for asia now let's just move back to our presentation again. These are the findings of our case study. Total aviation incidents is 28,536. The United States experienced the highest number of aviation incidents among all the countries. Fatality rate is 41%. The Atlantic Ocean is identified as the location where the highest number of crashes occurred. And flight type scheduled revenue flight is in, indicate that a significant portion of the incidents involved commercial flights. The Royal Air Force faced the most incident among all aviation operators. Human factor is the primary cause of the aviation incidents. Douglas C-47 Skytrain or D-3 is identified as the type of aircraft that was involved in the most incidents. These are the numbers of uh, crew members and passengers on board. And incidents were most frequent during flights with a duration of 12 hours. These are the recommendations. Propose targeted awareness campaign for aviation professionals and the general public to 
elevate safety consciousness, heightened monitoring and comprehensive training programs, especially in countries with elevated incident rates, advocate collaborative efforts with major operators like IAF to implement safety measures, encourage thorough investigation of crashed aircraft, particularly focusing on day three, Recommended targeted safety measures for flights over the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, considering most common crash locations. Emphasize the vital importance of thorough investigations, particularly for incidents occurring during flights with the duration of 12 hours. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.